guys, welcome to this week's video. Um, this week we're going to be talking about fines pouches, fines belts, the way that everyone carries their fines and digging tools and everything like that. It's going to be a collaboration video, so we've got some help from detectors from all around the world of all different ages to uh, share their tips, tricks, and the way they carry their stuff when they're out detecting. So let's get into it. See what he has to say about he how he carries his tools and his finds around. Hi guys, Aussie Coin Hunter here. Um, when I'm out hunting, uh, when I'm out on bush or in a place where it just doesn't matter, I just have a bucket. I don't use a finds pouch. Um, I also have a shovel with my pinpointer and my digger positioned on that. I really like having that set up in the bush and out on big open areas. So this is it here and goes in and out like that I even have my, my probe for probing the glass in there like that when I'm in public parks uh, and areas with pristine lawns and things like that I do what I do what you see me doing now I have my digger my pinpointer and I have my probe all in my hand just keeps a low profile sometimes put it in my back pocket and I have a, uh, a bag which I'll show you in a minute. So here's the bag, it goes over your shoulder. This was a country road. And then we've got one in the front for different things, a pocket in there, a main pocket, internal pockets, a uh, pocket there. So we've got lots of pockets that all the trash goes in the middle. You can look around op shops and find something suitable. So cheap. yeah, that's what I use. I don't really use a fines belt or a, you know, a, a gear belt as such. So, but take care. Good luck out there. Bye for now. Thanks for that, Paul. Um, as you can see, there's a, he's got a few different ways that you may not have seen before about actually connecting everything you need to the shovel, which is quite an interesting way of doing it. Keeps everything together, compact, and you don't have to carry a big fines bag around. So I'll get into what I carry around when I'm out in the field. I've just got the Garrett camo pouch and I just have my pinpointer on the front there and there's a retractable lanyard if I wanted to use it which just connects to the pinpointer there. Then inside I carry my gloves and I've also got this which is for the better finds. It's just a kitchen sponge that I've cut up there to keep everything safe. I also have a toothbrush there if I ever need to clean up any finds. Inside there's also a spray bottle. Alright so going along the belt I have this here which is just a camera case, like point and shoot camera case. Inside this, at the front pocket, I have a business card. And if I find anything extra good, like really nice old silver coins or something, or rings or whatever, I'll put it in that pocket just to keep it extra safe. Lastly, I have Lesh digging tool. And I've got that inside a Garrett sheath there. The Lesh one broke. Anyway, so that's my setup overall. If I'm at the beach, I'll just take the pinpointer and the scoop and I'll just use my pockets in like board shorts to carry the fine. Yeah, I find it's easier that way at the beach. Yes, yeah, so there's a, um, a few ways of doing it so far. Now we'll head on over to the United States to Emily, AKA Little Dirt Digger, and uh, see what she has to say about how she carries her fines around. It's me, Emily, and today I am going to show everyone my whole pouch, my new pouch. It was really actually a car holder. That's what you use because the regular pouches are too big and this is perfect and it fits everything you need. Yep, and this is my water. This is my food food. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Up my pinpointer. And then we have my little turtle cake. You see how I can't open it? Watch this. Got it. all your little coins in there. Then I have my new case that I finally got. Ta-da! It's gluey. 
pretty awesome. So what else you got in the bag? And I got my bandana. Gotta have the bandana. We got my little dirt digger car. So when you're out detecting it, someone From comes out, Emily. you can get permission to give them a card. We have my batteries. Yep, gotta always have a backup battery. You never know when it's gonna go dead. And then we have amazing camera. Ta-da! Who wants a picture? Huh? Oh upside. yeah, my gloves. Ta-da! My gloves. So it's got a little room for everything. Your digger, don't forget and about your digger. my digger. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Booyah! Thanks for that, Emily. Um, as you can see there, she had some great tips for smaller uh, detectorists, like kids and stuff. She had that calf pouch that goes with the car seat that uh, fit her a lot better than the traditional Garrett pouches, or mine lab pouches. All right, now we're gonna head over to Justin from uh, Aussie Detectorist and see what he has to say about how he carries his stuff around. G'day folks, this is Cleggy, and I'm just at one of my favorite little test hunting grounds because I always find something cool and it's all in the one pouch for me. Uh, I just find it nice and easy. It's a good sized pouch. It can hold water bottles and stuff. Um, my Deus remote and headphones fit nicely in the front. Uh, pinpoint holder in the side. Um, I'm not a lanyard fan, although you can put a lanyard on. Um, inside the actual finds pouch, I keep, uh, of course, a pair of gloves, screwdriver for the close work, uh, so I don't ding the coins up too much, and, of course, the little hand digger. Um, obviously, the stand-up digger doesn't fit in here. I carry that in my other hand. Inside, there's quite a few little pouches. It's easy to separate the good stuff from the not so good stuff. There's a few little coins that I found this morning and they just separate into the, the side pouch there. Uh, everything else goes in the middle and you can see through it, uh, it's got a mesh bottom. That's just cut down on the dust on the table when I tip everything out when I get home. But essentially, everything I use uh, goes into the one finds bag. Um, but when it comes to detecting, if I keep all my gear in here, uh, I can literally be out of there in two seconds. So I hope that was some help and uh, in ways to store gear. And that's just my preferred way. Like I said, it's a nice big pouch and everything fits in. Hey, thanks very much, guys. Happy hunting. And I uh, hope you find something cool too. Bye-bye. Thanks for that, Justin. Uh, he, as you can see, he had some great uh, tips there. I really liked how he had the pouch with the holes at the bottom. I might need to get one of those next because um, this is already half full of dirt. Now I've got a video from Queen Tector. Viewers, Paul here from Coin Tector Australia. Um, this is just going to be a quick video. Um, it's going to be a short review on on the gear I use when I'm metal detecting. Um, bags, shovels, shovels. You need a good shovel metal detecting, and this thing's brilliant. Um, it's a Leshy Ground Shark. It does perfect plugs. I think I'll just go one, two, three. Pop the plug open. There you go. Um, strong as you're not going to break it. No way. Another little leshy shovel, little one just for doing little plugs in the parks and things. I don't use that a great deal because we're normally out in bigger fields, but you need one of them. Bags. I don't wear I'm, I don't wear a bag uh, around my waist. I just find it a bit constrictive. You're always bending over, digging holes and that sort of thing. So I wear a sling bag. Sling. Done. Comfortable as. You don't even know you're wearing it. And when I want to drink, bang, drink. Bang, mobile phone for filming, bang, I keep a plastic bag in there for all the junk and that's what I keep my coins and little bits and pieces in, keep it separate from everything else. Up here is another little section, keep your keys for your car or you keep your little sand eyeglass. You know, because my eyes are a bit shot now so this bag's a Viper sling bag. I think I got it from eBay, uh, comes out of England, it was about 60 Australian bucks. Perfect. Also, I've got another little bag. I sort of use this one a lot more in summer. It's not as big as that one. It's not as hot on your back in summer. But that's just a good little bag. Sling him over. Same sort of deal. Mobile phone there. Drink there. Coins finds there. It's got a big area at the back. Put the rubbish that you find in there. 
um, car keys in the front. So that was a real good little bag. I um, brought that, I think, in the Geelong market. So, so that was good. That's basically what we use for, for our metal detecting. I know everyone's different. People have got their own setups, but that's just mine. Troy has a little bit different setup. He's got the bag he wears around the waist. So that, that's basically it. But if I could give you a little bit of advice, um, if you're new to metal detecting, don't give up. And don't think you're going to go out there and find gold coins and silver coins straight away. Take your time, put in the time to get to know your machine, and then you'll start reaping the re rewards. Believe me, it, it'll come. And, uh, and it's a tremendous hobby. Um, and just be clean in the area. If you dig a big plug, just try and leave it roughly the way you found it. Take all your rubbish with you. And get permissions too. Don't just go wandering into private property because it just makes us all look bad. So, you know, if you can remember those things and you'll have a fantastic hobby. So, so that's it. So I hope you liked it and hope it wasn't too long. Right Righto. Thanks for that, Paul. Uh, I really liked how you had the whole backpack sling idea to get your bag and your finds out of the way that's a really good idea and uh, I might have to try that sometime maybe in the summer to get everything out of the way when you uh, crouch down digging holes so yeah thanks for that Paul uh, now we're gonna go to Carl in Queensland from uh, Worldwide Dirt Fishing and see how he carries his finds and his tools around G'day everyone so it's Carl here from Worldwide Dirt Fishing I mainly use one of these tiger diggers for digging plugs or anything really so like that's my go-to shovel, I always use it. Now this is a tiger blade, so I use this when I'm popping coins. A oh, pen pointer of course, definitely uh, advisable. So when I uh, go and detect, I do coins and relics. Uh, I do bottle hunt as well. So of course I use a bigger backpack for bottles, depending on how far I have to travel. So this is my finds bag. So it has got a leg strap, I don't use it, can be taken off. These are $14 on eBay from China. Got a pinpointer spot there on the side. So you put it on, you're gonna have it either side because it's got two uh, holes. I have my phone in the top there. You know, wallet, keys, whatever into this little section. Then it comes to the good part. I've had this bag for quite some time. I've just noticed then it's just got a little bit of a rip in it, but it's a very good bag for the price. So I put my good stuff in the back here. It's a little section, so I put it in close to me. I put the trash in here. I have a little secret pocket at the back here against my leg in case I need to put anything in there that I don't want people to see. It does come with a um, like a lid that comes over the top. Little energizer torch, about 50 bucks I think they are. So there you go guys, that's what I use. Uh, and catch you on the next dig. Thanks for that Carl. Um, yeah, that's a really good idea with the hip bolt. It keeps it nice and compact and uh, yeah, it gets everything out of the way. So yeah, thank you to everyone for sending in those clips um, and I hope you guys find that helpful in some way if you've been metal detecting for 30 years or if you're just starting out or wanting to start out, I hope that you found some of that helpful and um, yeah, hopefully there's some tips in there that you can use to uh, make detecting better and more enjoyable and easier and stuff like that. So if you, if you enjoyed this kind of video with the collaborative stuff, other detectorists on YouTube sending in videos uh, and you want to see more like that, just up here I've got a poll just to see yeah, if you're interested in that kind of video or not. Just let me know your opinion up there and then uh, might be able to make some more on different kinds of topics. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. See you next week.